Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is probably the most random video I've done so far. I'm so sorry, my YouTube channel is just full of the most random videos, but there we go, that's a bit like me. Today's video is, uh, well, I'm starting this off at the very beginning of me attempting, along with my boyfriend, to make our own cat tree. Why am I doing this, you may ask? I was gonna buy a really cool looking cat tree off Etsy, um, like an actual tree with actual logs and with little beds all over it and scratching posts and it looked awesome and then it just disappeared off of Etsy. And then I kind of had my mind set on the fact that I wanted a cat tree like that and so I decided to make it. So the other day, me and my boyfriend went and picked up these logs this huge log and there's another log behind the mirror there um and the idea is to debark the logs first first and foremost um and then treat them and then put them together and make our own cat tree i mean you'll know more than me at this point because i'm hoping in the thumbnail of this video will be a handmade cat tree um but we'll see we'll see how it turns out i'm hoping i'm hoping for the best but i've never done anything like this before i love a challenge i've got a wood chisel i'm really trying to be careful with these because i'm the most clumsy person and a stanley knife um and i'm just hacking away at this bark to try and get it all off so that we can get making really so this is the first step is me debarking this tree. You can see here, I have just started, you know, just trying to debark it with um, the, what's it called? Uh, wood, I can't remember. I've literally just forgotten what it's called. Uh, anyway, I just tried to do it and it seems, seems to be working all right. So I'm gonna carry on doing this eventually until the whole log is smooth and bark free. So I've been at this log trying to debark it for the past 40 minutes I want to say and I'm so impressed with how easily the bark is coming off. Um, these tools work perfectly for what I need them to and it's just peeling off so I'll show you what it's looking like. So here you can see the debarked log. This is actually so moist and wet um, which I think is maybe what's making it easier to peel off because once you get kind of ooh, like once you get in here you can start to just peel it and it just comes off in chunks like this and then you're left with this really smooth um piece of wood which i'm so happy it's working so quickly i'm thinking i'll be able to finish this either by the end of today or tomorrow Wow, that second branch was way harder <laughs> to peel, peel, to debark, than the first. I finally did it. This is what it's looking like. Got two, oh, two trunks, or like pieces of wood, and me, hi. Um, they're together, so it's taken less than three hours, which is much better than I expected. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this second one, I think, because it was drier, it just, the bark, and also a, probably a smaller tree as well, the bark wasn't so thick, so I've kind of hacked at it a little bit. Um, you can see, like, the difference in texture between this one, you can see I've just hacked at it, so I think I'm going to have to sand this one down, whereas this is completely smooth. Um, so I don't think I'll have to do any sanding really for that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them there for a couple of days to dry out um, and then figure out what to do next. I actually, I don't know. Uh, I guess sanding will be the next job, but I'll catch up with you then. Hello, it's a couple of days after I've last spoken to you. I'm just gonna give you a little update on my tree, my cat tree, and show you some new bits of wood that I've had delivered and tell you what I'm gonna, well, what I'm planning on doing with them. This is how the tree is looking right now. So here you can see the tree. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you, but we've connected 
um, the smaller branch onto the bigger trunk there, as you can see, um, with two screws. And it's pretty sturdy. Um, and then yesterday, excuse the mess, it's an absolute mess here, but um, I had these um, plywood pallets uh, delivered, not pallets, but little round discs, basically. Um, these ones are 35 centimeters, and these I'm planning on going here, if you can see, here, um, one here, in, in there, so I'm gonna cut some sort of holes, uh, like for the tree trunks to go into and slot it in there, another one down there, hopefully you can see this properly, well, yeah, about here, and then I have one big 50 centimeter one, which is gonna be our, um, bottom platform and then under that I have ordered a log which I think that might be it right there we have this really thick slice of wood I mean it's so heavy I don't know how we're ever going to be able to get this cat tree out of this flat um but basically the plan is to get some super long screws attach the main tree into the center using the screws from the bottom and then today my main task is going to be cutting this big 50 centimeter one in half with a circle in the middle although that doesn't look central at all now that i'm looking at it oh well um and because i want to be able to slot this kind of in there if that makes sense and then I also want to make brackets, uh, I, I guess you'd call them brackets, out of this bit of wood, kind of chop off angular <laughs> bits of wood in order to support all of these levels. Big task. The only thing we're waiting for now is the fabric to go around these levels uh, and that should be arriving today or tomorrow. So yeah, that's my task for today. I will let you know how I'm getting on. Um, Wish me luck. Hello guys, time for another update. I can't remember when the last time I updated on the cat tree was, but this is what we're currently dealing with. So let me show you properly. This is the cat tree that I've made. My dad come round and helped me attach some of the platforms and stuff because he's got proper tools to do it with. I've prepped everything myself. I've cut everything myself. And it's pretty much done, guys. I'm so happy with how it's looking. Um, right now, I'm attaching this sizzle rope to the bottom using super glue, uh, not super glue, wood, PVA glue and some staples um, but it's nowhere near as long enough as I wanted so I wanted uh, I really wanted it here all the way up and then maybe a little bit up this branch here but I've just had to order some more of this rope because this is nowhere near long enough I needed much more than I needed so I'm just going to use this rope down the bottom I cut a hole in here I think I did show you um, and so we've drilled the branch the main branch into this plank of wood that we ordered from online um we drilled it in from the bottom up and it's got a little it's in like a little dent sort of thing it took me days to hack at it um and then lastly the last thing that i'll need to do once i've got this rope and i think i'm getting some more rope delivered tomorrow so i've got glue all over my hands um the last thing will be to attach this fabric using staples to every platform. So yeah, I'm really happy. I keep saying that every time I update you, but I can't believe how sturdy it is. I was really worried it wasn't gonna be very sturdy, um, but I've attached these platforms different ways. The ones at the top I've attached just by drilling uh, a nail into the top of the branches. That is actually, is plenty sturdy enough for my little cat. He's not gonna be very big or very heavy. This one, my dad drilled, um, or like sawed, sawed 
a little kind of cut into this branch and we popped it in there that way and then put some screws in there and then I put some a mixture of PVA glue and sawdust in there to secure it and then we put I kind of cut this little um, support and that kind of helps it stay sturdy again with this one this one i did by myself so i've actually used three supports because i didn't cut as deep so i didn't get as much support as i wanted to from this cut um but you can see it's still it's so sturdy and then here this is the one that i cut in half with a hole in the middle and we slotted it in there and then we used again some of these supports around the bottom to prop it up with the next clip that I'm going to show you will be when it's done and I'll probably leave one clip at the very end of Marley <laughs> on it when we get him. I'm so excited. So yeah, this has been a really exciting and really fun project to do. It's been hard work. I've spent hours on this project. I've literally spent probably over 100 hours sawing and sanding and debarking and attaching and oiling and <laughs> honestly it's been a big task but i'm really happy with how it has turned out and here is the final product <laughs> <laughs>